Welcome to another Tech Help video brought to you by AccessLearningZone.com. I'm your instructor, Richard Rost. Today we're going to talk about the lookup with multiple criteria. By far, the number one question I get usually involves the lookup of some kind, looking up values, right? And lots and lots of people need help with lookups that involve multiple criteria, right? Multiple fields, different types of data. Right? Numbers, dates, strings, strings especially get people all the time. So let's take a look at one of the questions I got recently from a Platinum member. Elliot in Evanston, Illinois. He says, when my customers place an order, we have a chart where they look up the total quantity of items purchased. And then based on the customer's pricing tier, which is either A, B, or C, we assign them a discount. Here's what the discount matrix looks like. I can't figure out how to calculate the discount. I know it involves a deal lookup of some kind, but can you help me out? Yes, of course, Elliot, great question. I see stuff like this all the time. In fact, someone just posted a question like this in the forums a couple days ago. Um, this is going to involve one deal lookup statement that has three criteria in it. First, you gotta check the quantity, right? The quantity has to be greater than or equal to that minimum quantity field you have there, okay? And it also has to be less than or equal to the max quantity. Now, I'm assuming if it doesn't fall in those ranges, like if you have a tier A customer that only purchases five items, they don't get a discount. That's what I'm assuming. So you got to make sure your table's set up properly, first of all. Now, after you check the quantity, we also have to check the tier. And since the tier is a letter, we have to properly put it inside of quotations inside of our string that is the DLOOKUP criteria string. Okay, once we have all that, we can then look up the discount. Now, since formatting that criteria string is where a lot of people get tripped up, we're going to walk through it step by step very slowly. But first, let's talk about some prerequisites. Now, this is going to be an expert level video. What does expert mean? Well, it's beyond beginner, right? If you're, if you're an absolute beginner with access, this might be a little bit too much for you. So I'm going to give you some prerequisite videos to go watch first. But this isn't a developer level video. I, I, I sandwich expert between beginner and developer, right? If you're a developer, it involves VBA and all that stuff. We don't need VBA today. But it is going to be a relatively complicated DLOOKUP. Here it is right here. You can see it's lots of quotes and NZ functions. And I'm going to explain how I built this step by step in just a minute. Okay? But we can always use more practice with DLOOKUP, even if you are an advanced developer student. I get a lot of people that even have been programming for a long time and they still miss a quote here and there. All right, so here's some videos to go watch to make sure that we're all on the same page. First, calculated fields, very important. You can create calculated fields directly in forms and reports or in queries. Today, we're going to work with a query calculated field, so go watch this first. Concatenations, another big one. Concatenating is putting two strings together. We have to do that a lot inside of the lookup strings because that criteria string is going to be one big long string with different values and stuff substituted into it. So make sure you got a good grasp on concatenation. And make sure you go watch my double, double quotes video, too. It's another concatenation video, but it's when do you single quotes, double quotes, double, double quotes. A lot of times taking string criteria and putting those inside of another string, that trips people up, too. And again, we're going to talk about it in just a few minutes. And, of course, the granddaddy, the grandpappy of all lookup functions, DLOOKUP. Go watch this. If you haven't watched all these videos, go watch them now and then come on back. All right, so the first thing we're going to do is set up a table. We're going to take this guy and put it over into access. This looks like a number. These are long integers. That's a string value. And that looks like a double formatted as a percentage. Okay, so let's set that up real quick. I am going to create a table. We'll have a discount ID. That'll be my auto number. We've got the min quantity. Well, I can't type today. Min quantity. That'll be a number, a max quantity. Also a number, the tier, which is a short text, and then the discount, which is going to also be a number, but this guy is going to be a double. Remember, there's two number types you're going to use, long integer and double. That's it. Unless you're super advanced and you understand the difference between like double and decimal and single and all that, that, that don't worry about all those number types. All you should care about for 90% of your access career is going to be long integer and double. That's it. All right, we can format that as a percentage. When you do that, 10% is actually 0.1. Okay, internally in Access, it's stored as 0.1. You'll see it is 10%. Let's save this as my discount table. 
discount T. And I'll put some data in here. I'm not going to make you watch me type all this in. I'll just put a couple of rows in 10 and then 15 and that's tier A and it gets a 10% discount. And I'm just taking this off of his little chart here. Okay, I'm just going to copy this and put it over into the access table and I'll be right back. Actually, let me show you what I just did. Because now if you're using chat GPT at all, you could take a screenshot of this data and have chat GPT OCR it and format it for you so that you can just copy and paste it into access. Watch this. I use my screen capture tool. I use Hypersnap, but you can use anything you want. You can screen capture it with uh, with Windows Snip uh, and Sketch, whatever, whatever screen capture tool you use. All right, then I pasted that in the chat GPT. Oh, you can see my OCR still running. Turn that off. <laughs> And uh, there is the rest of the, the rows, okay? I said, can you format the attached picture of a spreadsheet for me so I can copy and paste the text in my access database? Here it is. It OCR'd it. It pulled all the data out, okay? Now just copy this. Now back in access, here's the key. You can't just click here and hit paste because see how it tries to paste it all inside that field? No, you don't want that, okay? And you can't select the row because... It's all, it's different because you got a discount ID here and you don't have that over here. Okay, so here's how you do this. Watch this. You got four fields over here, right? Just make sure they match up. And in your table, what you're going to do is you're going to move your cursor right to the border there. So you get like the Excel plus sign. And you're going to select those four cells. We'll call them cells. I know they're fields. We'll call them cells. It looks like Excel. Now that you got those guys selected and you made sure they match up, now hit paste. And oh, hold on, hold on a second. All right, that was my fault. I didn't tell ChatGPT to tab delimit it. You got to make sure you tab delimit it. There's spaces between these. If you look closely at this data here, see the spaces. You need them tab delimited, so there's a tab between each one. See that? There's a tab character there, right? There's not just one space; it's a tab character. Once you've got them tab delimited, then you could do what I just showed you. All right, now we can come in here, select these four cells, and now paste, and there you go. There's your data. And there was a bunch of deletions. That's why my auto number jacked up. Okay, see that cool little trick? You got to just make sure the data is tab delimited. But ChatGPT can do the OCR. It can copy the data. It can figure it out for you, format it, whatever you need it formatted for. So I didn't have to sit here and type all that in. And yes, that took me longer than just typing it all in, but I was teaching you something new. <laughs> I've done this before a million times. And that's one of the great things. ChatGPT is replacing a lot of other software. Okay, so now we've got this stuff in here. Now we need some way of indicating for our orders. I've got an order table. But we need some way to indicate the units and the tier that the customer purchased. Ignore the order detail table for now. Let's just pretend this is the user's table. So I'll add some fields in here. All right, we need a number of units purchased. So I'll just call it units, and that'll be a number. And what is their pricing tier? And that'll be a short text field. Okay, so we're going to add that in here. So let's say I've got this order. The guy purchased 12 units and he's tier A. Let's say on this one he purchased 18 units. He's also tier A. This guy purchased 6 units. He's tier B. And this guy purchased 11 units and he's in tier C. All right. And of course, every one of these orders, you'd put some stuff in there. We'll deal with null values in a little bit. So now we're all set. Now we've got our data in here. We've got our discount table set up. We've got our order table that has the information in it that we have to look up. And essentially, we're going to say, okay, take this number of units, look it up in this table. I'm going to delook up the discount from the discount table where 12 is greater than this, greater than or equal to this, and less than or equal to that, right? And our tier, this guy, is equal to that. So that's going to be our DLOOKUP statement. And we're going to walk through that tomorrow in part two. So tune in tomorrow, same bad time, same bad channel. Or if you're a member, you can watch it right now because I'm going to record it in just a few minutes. But that is going to be your tech help video for today. I hope you learned something. Live long and prosper, my friends. I'll see you tomorrow for part two. If you enjoyed this video, please give me a thumbs up and post any comments you may have below. I do try to read and answer all of them as soon as I can. Make sure you subscribe to my channel, which is completely free. Click the bell icon and select all to receive notifications when new videos are posted. 
Want to learn more? Click the show more link below the video to find additional resources and links. YouTube does a pretty good job of hiding it. It's right down there. See this part of the description here, right? The name, the videos up here. There's a little show more down there, right down the bottom. It's kind of hard to find. But once you click on that, you'll see a list of other videos, additional information related to the current topic, free lessons, and lots more. And YouTube no longer sends out email notifications when new videos are posted like they used to do. But if you'd like to get an email every time I post a new video, click on the link to join my mailing list. And you can pick how frequently to get emails from me, either as they happen daily, weekly, or monthly. Now, if you'd like to become a paid member of my channel and receive all kinds of awesome perks, click on the join button. You'll see a list of all the different membership levels that are available, each with its own special perks, including my extended cut videos, access to my code vault, lots of VBA source code in there, template downloads, and lots more. I'll talk more about these perks at the end of the video. Even if you don't want to commit to becoming a paid member and you'd like to help support my work, please feel free to click on the tip jar link. Your patronage is greatly appreciated and will help keep these free videos coming. I got some puppies to feed. But don't worry, no matter what, these free tech help videos are going to keep coming. As long as you keep watching them, I'll keep making more and they'll always be free. Now, if you really want to learn Access and you haven't tried my free Access Level 1 course, check it out now. It covers all the basics of Microsoft Access, including building forms, queries, reports, and more. It's over four hours long. You can find it on my website or on my YouTube channel. I'll put a link down below you can click on. And did I mention it's completely free? The whole thing, free, four hours. Go watch it. And okay, okay, a lot of you have told me that you don't have time to sit through a four-hour course. So I do now have a quicker Microsoft Access for Beginners video that covers all the basics faster in about 30 minutes. And no, I didn't just put the video on fast forward. <laughs> but I'll put a link to this down below as well. Now, if you like level one, level two is just a dollar. That's it, one dollar. And that's another whole like 90 minute course. Level two is also free for paid members of any level, including supporters. So if you're a member, go watch level two, it's free. Okay, want to get your question answered in a video just like this one? Visit my tech help page and send me your question there. Members get priority, of course. While I do try to read and respond to all of the comments posted below in the comments section, I only have time to go through them briefly a couple of times a month, and sometimes I get thousands of them. So send me your question here on the tech help page and you'll have a better chance of getting it answered. And while you're on my website, be sure to stop by my Access Forum. We've got lots of lively conversations about Microsoft Access and other topics. I have a fantastic group of moderators who help me answer questions. Shout out to Alex, Kevin, Scott, Adam, John, Dan, Juan, and everybody else who helps out on the site. I appreciate everything you do. I couldn't do it without you. Be sure to follow my blog, find me on Twitter, and of course on YouTube. Yeah, I'm on Facebook too, but I don't like Facebook. Don't get me started. Now, let's talk more about those member perks if you do decide to join as a paid member. There are different levels, silver, gold, platinum, and diamond. Silver members and up get access to all of my extended cut tech help videos, one free beginner class every month, and some other perks. Gold members get all the previous perks, plus access to download the sample databases that I build in my tech help videos, plus access to my code vault where I keep tons of different functions that I use, the code that I build in most of the videos. You'll also get higher priority if you do submit any tech help questions. Now answers are never guaranteed, but you do go higher in the list for me to read them. And if I like your question, you got a good chance of it being answered. You'll also get one free expert level class each month after you've finished the beginner series. Platinum members get all the previous perks plus even higher priority for tech help questions. You get access to all of my full beginner level courses for every subject. And I cover lots of different subjects like Word, Excel, VBA, ASP, lots of different stuff, not just access. These are the full length courses found on my website. You get all the beginner ones. 
In addition, once you finish the expert classes, you get one free developer class per month. So lots of training. And finally, you can also become a diamond sponsor. You'll have your name or your company name listed on a sponsors page that will be shown on each video as long as you're a sponsor. You'll get a shout out in the video and a link to your website or product in the text below the video and on my website. So that's it. Once again, my name is Richard Rost. Thank you for watching this video brought to you by AccessLearningZone.com. I hope you enjoyed. I hope you learned something today. Live long and prosper, my friends. I'll see you again soon.